Greetings and welcome. Today I am back in Archcraft Linux and I know I did a lengthy video last time but there's something I missed. I don't know how I missed it but I do feel it deserves attention so I'm going to go through it. It won't be as long of a video but here is a preferences menu item and I totally missed it last time so I'll go through a bit of it today. So here you have a bunch of settings to change your appearance. Change the menu style, your open box settings, you can change your compositor settings. I haven't fooled around with this that much and as for open box I do it manually but word of warning if you do fool around with these files especially this rc.xml file I do uh, advise you make a backup first before you fool around with it or open box might freeze on you. At least if you make a backup you can boot up into BSPWM if anything goes wrong and restore the original file back. But having said that, let's move on. There's an option here to use Tint2 as your panel instead of the polybar. So when I click on that, you see here there is a Tint2 panel here. We got your display monitor settings. So here you can choose which display you have. I only have one display, so that doesn't affect me that much. We'll go to this later. This is a bit lengthy. Here you can change fonts. So you can change fonts for, for example, the Polybar, Rofi, Alacrity, Openbox, Dunce, which is the notifier, and your applications. Or you can change it all globally. So if I change this globally, I hit 12, everything changes, including the file manager. Uh, you notice this menu, uh, Openbox menu changed. They all went to the one font, one uh, size but you can do it individually as well so if I go here last time I showed you how to do it in the terminal but this is a much easier way so check click 15 and there you go it's size 15 now we'll go back to panel and I'll go back to polybar because I like polybar better nothing wrong with tint 2 but I played with tint 2 ages ago and I just like polybar because it's new to me but uh, let's go on terminal colors. So I'll open a terminal, Alacrity terminal, and actually I'm going to change the, you know what, I'm not. I'll just leave it at that. But um, I was going to change the font size, but there's no sense uh, right now because when you go to the themes, the font size changed back. So um, terminal colors, and you see here they got 65 different themes for terminal colors. So if I choose here, you see it totally changed. Uh, we'll go terminal colors again and I'll choose, uh, we'll try this one pencil dark. Okay, some of them look kind of the same, right? But um, there are subtle differences. Um, and then we'll just try, let's see, um, cobalt two. Okay, and one more, let's try one more. You're starting to get the picture, Dracula. There you go. So that's that. I'm not going to go through all of them. There's 65 colors, right, for your terminals. So um, yeah, you get the picture. And uh, change font. I already went through this. Here you just changed wallpaper. That just opens nitrogen. And you have a shortcut for appearance settings here. So that one I won't go through. Um, this one here, this final one. So right now we're on the default theme. If I click here, there's nine extra, nine more themes, so 10 in total. So if I click here, you notice the window decoration changes, this thing changes, the polybar, and the plank dock is here, but it became hidden. It hides itself automatically. So we'll go to, and you notice the font size changed also. That's the only thing I don't like about switching these themes. All the font sizes go back to the original way they were, which, um, you know, I think a better option would be to have an option here and then say an option to say revert back to default font sizes, right? But anyways, um, that might be harder, uh, easier said than done. Right, harder to do than said is what I was trying to say, but same thing. Um, so if I go to beach here, there's another theme here, right? 
Um, there are some glitches to these themes though. For example, these icons here don't seem to work. Yeah, it's just a little weird, some of these themes. And if I, I notice if I type plank, I don't think it works here also. Yeah, plank, I don't know where plank is in this theme. It doesn't seem to work in this theme. So there are a few glitches. So that should be noted. And let's see here. We'll go to easy. So that's what that looks like. And I should know that these menus, the bright, the open box menu changes also, right? So it got a lot simpler and the colors changed also. And then we'll go to, nope, not settings, preferences, change style, uh, forest. So that's what that looks like. Okay, preferences, style, hack. I'll just go through them quickly. I don't want to waste too much of your time. You kind of get the picture, but uh, I want you to see all the themes that they have first. So Manhattan. Um, let's see. Terminal colors, change font, change style. Slime. This is a more light theme. I prefer dark themes, but this is nice for a light theme. Spark. This is another light theme, more simple. And the final one, you got a bunch of hearts here, so more girly, girly girl theme. But uh, yeah, so you got 10 themes to choose from and let's see, uh, which one shall I go with? You know what, for now I'm gonna go back to adaptive. All right, and then I'm going to change the wallpaper. So we'll change the wallpaper back to, you know what, I'll change it up. I'll change to this. This is what I had for my Cache OS. I like this uh, wallpaper. Um, we'll close this and we'll change the font size of open box to, let's say, 15. And then I'll do the rest on my own. I don't want to waste too much of your time. But uh, yeah, that's all the themes that they got there. And uh, I think I did mention they do work with Tint 2 as well. So if I use Tint 2 as the panel, but the Tint 2 is much simpler, right? You don't notice the change as much when you're in Tint 2. So I'm gonna keep it with Polybar. Okay, so that's that. I know it's just aesthetics, but sometimes aesthetics makes a big difference. Some people maybe don't care for aesthetics. They prefer functionality over form. I like both. I like functionality and form. And this open box window manager is quite efficient. If I go to the terminal, I run HTOP. Oh, I forgot. I'm using the screen recorder. I keep forgetting. But without the screen recorder, it uses uh, much less RAM. Anyways, I guess you'll have to trust me that OpenBox is a very efficient and lightweight window manager and they made it look very nice with these themes and these OpenBox settings and these Polybar settings here as well as the Rofi launcher settings. Everything comes together very nicely and I'm liking this Archcraft very much. There are a few things that I would add, however. For example, there's no graphical installer software at all, right? So if you're not familiar with installing applications in the terminal, that could be a problem. I tried installing Pomoc, but it gave me errors. We'll try installing sudo pacman-s octopi. Octopi, octop, I don't know how you say it. I call it, call it octopi. Um, actually, what am I doing? And not found. Interesting. We'll try yay. So we'll have to install it from the Arch user repository. Enter, enter. What's going on? Oh, there it is. 
proceed with insulation, yes. Oh, I noticed something. This theme adds these this maximize button over here. Oh, that's a little different. I'm not sure I'm liking this one, to be honest. Might change that. But uh, you know what? We'll go to open preferences, open box. Uh, settings is it settings yes it's settings here so you can change your window style here also so we'll go back to the arc oh no but this thing stays here okay you know what I'm not liking that theme as much as I thought so um, we'll go to style you know what I'm going back to default I'm liking the default what was beach again? Okay, this at the bottom. No, I prefer the default. So we'll change it back to default. And unfortunately, the font size reduced on me, so I have to change the font size again. That's the only problem with this. So um, we'll change it to 15. There we go. And hopefully, Octopi compiles soon enough you know what I'm just gonna fast forward the video okay and finally we are done that took a lot longer than I thought that's one of the drawbacks of the AUR or otherwise known as the Arch user repository Packages from the AUR aren't really packages or apps. They're actually just a repository of scripts that are used to compile the apps from the source code. So this one took longer to compile than I thought, but you guys didn't have to bear with me through that. And I'm going to launch OctoP, OctoPi. I'm going to just call it OctoPi, and hopefully it's in the menu here. Oct there it is right there we'll close out of the terminal and there you go now you have an installer a graphical installer where you can search for applications I was disappointed that PayMac was not working that's a more user-friendly new user-friendly installer but this one this one kind of reminds me of synaptic for Debian so I'm fine with that and I, I'm actually comfortable with the terminal as well, but I do like having a graphical installer also. So here you just search for whatever you want. I don't know. Let's just search for Audacity. There you go. I'll just check mark this. Actually, I don't check mark it. I just click it and then mark it as install. Then here you have options to install documentation if I wanted to I would check mark that but I don't care about documentation in this application at least so we'll just hit the check mark here uh, confirm yes hit my password enter my password whatever and um, what is this I guess I don't know how to spell my password we'll try it again there we go and hopefully it wouldn't yep yeah, that was pretty quick yes that's one thing that this is better than pay Mac less graphics so faster overall so we'll search this launcher here we'll search for audacity there it is we'll launch audacity make sure everything works and there we go now we got a installer for our Archcraft minimal not minimal I always say I keep saying minimal it's it's kind of minimal but it's more lightweight there's not a whole bunch of apps I'm not sure what you would categorize as minimal but it's definitely a lightweight uh, distribution and I'm liking it a lot like I said previously it is a contender to be my main daily driver as a rolling release distribution but it's not the only contender 
I do have an, other distros that I want to try out that are contenders also. Which one will win out in the end? I'm not sure yet, but that'll be continued for another video. So I got to go to work tomorrow early in the morning. So I just wanted to send out this quick video for you guys. And I'll probably have another video out sometime on the weekend. But until next time, guys, take care. Have a lovely day. Tambucha out.